All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Ramble Craft. We are on the server, obviously, over by our villager breeder that we went ahead and built last episode. Done a bit of work off camera, and we cleared out the two sections here. I don't know if I showed you guys that in the last video. It has been quite a while since I've had any exposure to that video. But yes, we are, uh, you know, this is the, the villager trading hall. Uh, this is the, the two floor ones. Uh, we haven't done the second floor yet. We are working on the first one. We have our mending villager here. Look at that one book. Uh, and one emerald for mending and then look at this down here. We also have another mending trade So it's pretty cool. Uh, this guy we got looting three and efficiency four for one emerald in one book And then this guy's got protection four and silk touch for one book as long as well as depth strider three So this dude these three guys are amazing. So I'm gonna keep breeding these guys up I uh, really been you know enjoying playing some vanilla Minecraft But guys I got to show you something really really cool which you guys probably already know of uh, from the title of the video today but back here, uh, I used this was where I had the um, the geo. Do you know when I come here and let's see, this is fortune, yeah. And I would mine these guys, um, yeah. And I didn't really think much of it. Uh, and then I ended up finding a mine shaft over here when I was trying to do some renovations over in this corner to make it look better. Uh, I found a mine shaft, and if we look over here. Um, We've got a cave spider spawner right there, and then an actual skeleton spawner right there. So these are going to be the focus for today's video. Uh, we actually had a third one here, but I accidentally broke it while trying to get the torch off. And I didn't realize I had a pickaxe in my hand yet. It was right here. I feel really dumb. But it would have been a triple uh, spawner. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and make just a dual one today. Not really dual, but just because we can activate both of them from standing here. So we'll just make two farms. And then we're going to kick it out this way here. Because if we look... Um, right here is the hallway to get over here. So we'll more than likely have it uh, cut off over here and come this way, and that's how we'll access it. But we'll have a uh, spider spawner and a skeleton spawner. Uh, and that's really great because we do need a lot of spider eyes. Uh, for converting zombie villagers, or, yeah, zombie villagers into normal villagers, and then we also have skeletons, so that way we don't have to go all the way up to the old uh, skeleton spawner to make a um, or to get a bunch of bone. We can just come into to this one, so really cool. And then also we have a geode, so just amazing. Really liking it, and yeah, I got the farm the. Uh, villager farm running right now. Uh, this does work, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. The turning off of, um, like, like when you cover the beds with the pistons and then move them, like, it does uh, shut off the farm and activate it. So, yeah, we've got it set up so that the light's on, it turns on the farm. When the light's off, it shuts off the farm. So, yeah, really, really cool. Been working great. Loving this. It's been fun. Well, anyway, let's get started. All right, so I got all my tools repaired. We have a couple of chests over here. So now the fun project of clearing out the area is going to start. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna start all my stuff. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use the replay mod and we are going to have a good time. So with the spaces cleared, uh, I do have the materials to go ahead and get started on the spider spar spawner. And we're going to do this one first uh, because this will determine where this um, this area will be. And then we'll match the the spiders, or sorry, the skeletons to match that. But what we need to go ahead and do now is create an infinite water source. And if we do... So now that we have the spider farm, it's actually like ready 100% good to go All we need to do is actually just knock out the torches uh, But this is where we're going to have the skeleton one as well So over here, you know, we have the the room cleared out So we just need to make the the drop zone I guess for them over here So I do need to clear out this whole way and then we're gonna do something kind of cool on the floor to uh, Indicate where we need to stand to go AFK um, Which I think will be really really sweet 
All right, so we have the spot where we're going to be dropping the skeletons down onto, which is going to be sweet. Uh, so it means we just got to get them over to here. Um, they might be a little close. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe, maybe we extend that out one more block. Because uh, there is a spot where skeletons... Uh, won't spawn or mobs won't spawn in because they're too close to the spawner But that farm works with a lot of spiders. Okay, so I actually do think That it'll be okay here now that I think about it because this is the farm or that farm is set up by Shulkercraft and I have used it before Or that's the one they did in their video anyway. I have used it before and it works. No problem um, So yeah, I don't really need to worry about it too much then and just know that this is all temporary like just getting the farm set up now we're using kind of gross blocks we will come back later at the end of this episode and actually fix that um, so yeah I need to get myself a water source There's one here which is good I'm gonna bring this over into that corner perfect Okay, so we do need a couple of water sources, actually. Um, so let's go ahead, sneak in here and in here. So the, the very similar to the other one, spiders drop down here. Um, and then we go ahead and mine all of this out. And then we'll mine the other one. And that way we only have to use two buckets. Uh, we could go ahead and, you know, put... Actually, we couldn't put any source blocks here. This is how it has to flow. Um... So here we go. I don't know if I'll do any of the tinted glass into this so we can see this, the farm working. I don't know if we need to do that. So let's see here. We need them to go up here, which means if I do this, so they get pushed in here and they go up. That will probably work. Um, yeah, that will more than likely work. Let me just dump off some items here real quick because we need 23. So what I'm going to do is put 23 cobblestone here and then we're going to pillar up from the anvil uh, and then we're going to go down from the other side. So now we have 24. We can just place that temporarily there. Okay. Oh, wait a second. We can't use the same block. Okay, so we're going to go up 23 blocks from this anvil. And we are facing east. Okay. So once these run out, we're good to go. Okay, so this does go up above the ground. I was not expecting that. Um, so I think we're going to do something cool and just get some glass there. So that just in case, or maybe we could even put some lights there. So if you are up above, you could see when the skeletons are going through, which could be a cool thing. I doubt we'll ever see that working, but you know, hey, at least we try. We'll just take a couple of these. Okay. All right, so we're in our little underwater tunnel here. Uh, yeah, and so we just dig straight down here until we hit the bottom. And then we are pretty much good to go. Um, let's see. Yep, there we go. Perfect. We hit it. All right. So we do this, this, and this. All right. This, this, and this. Perfect. And we will see. W there is a chance we might need to move it over one block. I'm pretty sure this will work. The other skeletons will push them in. Um, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. There is a good chance it won't. Well, again, we might have to do some crazy things. But anyway, we need to grab some soul sand here and some kelp. And that will be our, our best friend. And Jeez Louise, where did you come from, my guy? Thanks for the gunpowder. I need that. Gunpowder is rare. Okay. So... Yeah. Might as well just send it. Oh, we didn't grab any water. That feels dumb. That first rocket was so good. Can we match the awesomeness that was that rocket? 
Um, so we've got the two there. We might need to make that three tall. Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, we even did it better. Okay. So this is where we'll have that. Um, okay. And then they'll fall down there. Okay. Perfect. So from here, we just go all the way up. All right. There we go. We break all these going down. Break this block here. Put some soul sand, and this should shoot us up. Yes. Beautiful. And then we just bring this all the way back down. Perfect. There we go. So the skeletons will land on the anvil. Let's go ahead and try to get this far departed here. All right, we got lots of light all over the place. Let's go up one more. Can I reach that one? No. I can now. Skeletons do like to snipe you when you're doing this. See? He tried. He failed. It's okay. Perfect. All right, so that one... Ha Oop. That one's been taken care of. Let's see, where did that guy come from? He might have come from up here. Or there. Possibly there. Anyway, that has been completed there. I should see a skeleton drop here maybe sometime soon. Perfect, there we go. So skeleton farm is working there. All right, and we're going to go ahead and do the same for the cave spider spawner. Um, yeah, we need to go a lot higher than that. Yeah, this should be... Yo, this is not a farm for you. This is for our caves. What the heck? Why do we have two in here? All right, boom. Oh, shoot. Boom, shoot, boom, 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 boom. Perfect. There we go. Cave Spider's uh, farm is up and operational. If we come over here. There he is. Let me slice him. Let me dice him. We get experience. We get spider eyes. And we even get torches. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, the spider spawner is working. We should see some spawn in here pretty soon. Yep, there they are. And here they come. Slice, slice, slice. And with looting three... We get lots and lots of spider eyes. But yes, perfect. So the farms are up and working now. They're working great. As you can see, we're getting those. Now we need to beautify this room here. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. And we'll come back once it's better. All right. So yeah, I've been down here for quite a bit of time, guys. And this is what we got. Um... These are going to be room. Those are just like light sources. Don't worry too, or don't think too much of that. I don't know what I'm doing for this wall here. It's very large. Uh, and then I also, we've got all of the skeletons here. Uh, and I want to do the whole hopper minecart thing where it sorts it and puts it into here. Um, and then this can be a little different where uh, we just pull uh, the items out there. So we can definitely automatically sort those. Um, but yeah, I want to put like right here is like the, the, the right AFK spot. You'll hit both of them. You can go AFK, uh, stuff like that. So that's really good. Cleared out everything else. And we just have the geodes. So we can go ahead and actually remove this block here because we will be safe. Uh, yeah, and so the geode's been growing quite a bit, which is cool. Now, what I did in the other, um, the other skeleton farm is I put these amethyst crystals over, and I really like how these look, um, but I don't know if it fits here. I might end up making this look like the rest of the base. Um, that's, that's probably what we'll go ahead and do. And as you can look, 
Yeah, we are getting a crazy amount of materials, and it's a fantastic. Because we definitely need those for our build here, um, our base. So, yeah, that'll be great. And now, I guess we just... The room shape is good. I might end up kicking this out a little bit more, maybe putting an enchanting setup over here. But we've got a lot of open space here, so I'm not sure. Maybe do, like, a, a spider pixel art thing on here and, like, a skeleton one over there. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, auto-sorting systems going in here. And then we're going to kind of do all of those features because they're going to have to go... You're gonna have to go through here, and then we might just combine them up into one and then have them right around. We might end up doing that. That probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. And then I do want to have a trash one for the bows because I don't want the bows or the armor. I just want the string, the eyes, even the case spider heads I'd take. Um, yeah, but and then from the, um, the skeletons, we just want the arrows and the bones. Yeah, so the bows can, you know, dip. And then we'll, we'll set that up. So, yeah, let's go ahead and work on that now. Uh, it'll probably be a couple of days from, from me from this point to the next clip that you guys see, but it'll be lickety split for you. All right, guys, so it's actually been, I think, f three or four days since the last clip. I've done a lot of work. I actually want to go ahead and show you, not just on the, the farm, but we will go ahead and check that out first. Uh, so yeah, I went ahead and decorated this hall. It looks good. Uh, I removed most of the torches here. Some of the lighting I don't like all that much. I don't want to see that, but I did uncover it on a nose. But we might end up turning this into the uh, amethyst crystal. Like there's there's a couple farms that we can do with this, so we might turn it into that. Uh, I do like getting the amethyst clusters because they do look super cool when you place them down. Uh, but yeah, so lots of prismarine, sea lanterns, and um, deep slate bricks but yeah this is what we're going for here um yep skeletons over here still on the anvil i don't know why they're on the anvil i'm probably will end up changing it to just a full block with a, a hopper minecart behind it uh but yeah the goal is eventually not today uh but we will set up a system that pulls the items out of here and puts them automatically into the chests so that we have a lot of storage here and so we'll have to do that with with this guy as well so we'll have just a a hopper minecart there going into a hopper and then into like an item elevator. We might just join them up over here and have them both go over the top or something along those lines. But we're not going to worry about that just yet. Um, and then for the items here, I haven't actually started filling this up. We can. Um, but I mean, we only really need two for this. So we might have two for bones because the bows and the armor are going to get filtered out by the system. And so I'll put the item frames up here or possibly... On the bottom ones um, yeah for that one but here it's pretty cool we have you know string uh, we have the spider eyes and then we're gonna have the cave spider heads so those are all gonna be filtered here so that's gonna look cool and then I might leave a, a sword with the bane of arthropods I believe four or five is the max I don't know but we'll have it maxed out here and I'll leave it here so with sweeping it so we can just annihilate these guys um, but yeah, this is how everything's turned out. I really like how this looks now, but the big stuff I've done is over here. Yes. So I've started working on the signs. I got all of this area done here. There is a little too much deep, uh, deep slate bricks here. So I might try to mix this up with some of the tiles. Maybe I don't quite know. I am. Um, it looks okay. Uh, it's not definitely not 100% done. Uh, I think I showed this to you guys. If I'm not mistaken, let me go ahead and add the, the shulker boxes back here. But yeah, we're going to fill this up. Um, and then we have the stories, this, or the second story here. And it's going to be mirrored to that. However, if we look over here, you can see some glass around. And yeah, so we're going to have a little dome here that goes up and we can see out into the sea. So uh, there'll be like a little cutoff here. Uh, and then there'll be something that goes over this, which will be cool. And then just to talk about earlier, um, or not to talk about earlier, but to just emphasize this, we're going to have a, like, we're not going to be able to see these sea lanterns, like, up at this block here that ends right here. We're going to have a block on the outside of that uh, going all across the sides, on, on each side. So we don't have to worry about this looking uneven. Like, it's just going to be all one thing. I think it'll be, yeah, right at this level. So it'll look really cool from the outside and from the inside. It'll kind of look like the glass is glowing. And then we're going to do a little bit of reinforcement around here, possibly carrying this over the top on each of those. 
Uh, I don't quite know yet. I think that might be on the inside we'll do that because it looks like it's supporting the glass. But yeah, and then I have this area all taken care of. The stairs are over here. And then I have done a little bit on the front area. I don't know if I'm going to do this uh, where I have the stairs or if I'm just going to have it like this. Um, I am leaning kind of towards this with like maybe stairs along this way. Um, rather than this just because like, I can't do it on this end right here and then we're also going to pull this through the area you know on the the glass and actually have it stick out by one over here and kind of look a little bit more bulky um, but yeah that's the progress we've made I don't know if I showed you showed you my sea pickle farm it's pretty cool do we have any bone meal in here we do I can show you it working so see pickle farm this is a stair if i go like this yep it flows out i uh, just wanted to show you that but that way the the coral doesn't die when it moves but yes as you can see we got four now and if you just hold it down we're gonna get a bunch it's not a hundred percent lossless but it does get the job done um yeah we're already over half a stack and i've got all of this one full so yeah it's it's working great i love it uh the sea pickles are for exactly what they do they give off light underwater and so around the base i'm gonna have these just so it looks kind of cooler uh around the base but yeah here's that that glass kind of dome thing i was telling you about that we're gonna utilize so i might have to rework all of this so i might be tearing it down but yeah so that's that's what these look like pretty neato um yeah but there's uh there's been a lot of effort that's gone into this video so if you guys could drop a like down below that would be highly appreciated it definitely helps me out with the video getting you know seen by more people because the more people watch the video the more enticing it is to continue to record but uh, i want to go ahead and wrap up the episode by checking out something at spawn that amradorn has set up so i'll meet you guys over there all right so this is spawn here as you can see everyone's been working and my gosh, this is turning out great. Um, what a great custom tree. I love to see it. I believe every, end of, uh, hang on, who, who built this? Yeah, I believe Endivara built this. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look. I believe it's public storage, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, oh, 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 beacons. Oh, oh, what's over here? Oh, this is nice. Oh, plates. This is, this is great. Oh, these are like, dispensers not dispensers but like water dispensers very cool very very cool let's go upstairs uh oh balcony oh no staircase nice <gasps> with a pressure plate beautiful with a bed oop items but yeah uh this isn't the primary i guess um reason why we're here well where does that go to oh 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 it goes up high i like it Ooh. This is cool. Oh, I like how he did the roof. The plant or the yeah, look at that. You got walls and then we have fence gates and then ooh, that is nice looking. He's such a good builder. But anyway, um Yeah, so normally what is this? Oh, community build starter materials. That's cool. Normally I come over here to get fireworks from Kit's shop. Let's see if he's if, if he's restocked. Um, no, but I do need to restock myself. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Eh, who cares? We'll take six. Sorry, everyone. I took all your rockets. I use them a lot. He's made so much money off of me. Okay, so yeah, bought rockets, but. Um, Amradon has built this over here, and he said there's a restaurant at the bottom, and then up on the second floor is potential space. Let's have a look. I don't know if this is done yet. This might not be ready, but we're going to take a look. Um, okay. So we've got some stables. How do we get up to the second floor? Um, hmm. There probably is some stairs somewhere. Is it a ladder? Hmm. We have a basement. Oh, this is where the fight ring is. Yes, we will be... We will be, um... 
taking part in that soon. We've got a challenger. The man we buy rockets from. Okay, so I, I believe at, at some point, which is fly up in there. I'm impatient. Oh gosh, a little bit of lag. We're in the second floor, beautiful, okay. So yeah, I will probably take a space up here um, for our sea lantern so that everyone now has access to buy them. But what I was thinking would be cool is to build like a, like obviously sea lanterns, like maybe a lighthouse of some sort. Um, and that's where, cause I don't like light, it's in the name. That's where people would purchase the lights. I don't know. Cause like, we're not really buy anything. I don't like buy like a big thing of water. Like that's all the way over there. It's so, like my lighthouse would have to be all the way over here for it to make sense. Hmm. It could be just like an abandoned, like we could make it look like an ab old abandoned lighthouse. That might look cool. Um, or we do something else entirely. But yeah, this is where a lot of the other members are, as you can see. We have some great builds. Oh my lord, look at that. I haven't seen this in person yet. Look at this thing. Holy cow. Holy smack roll. This looks beautiful. Storage, yes. Gotta have the storage. Oh, we got like... Hmm. Okay, looks to be... Oh, sugar cane! That's cool. And then into the balloon? Oh, what a great use of space. A sugar cane farm in the balloon. Solid. I rate it 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay. So that, that is cool. This looks great. Look at all the copper. It's tied in. Man, what a cool base. What a cool base. I love it. Oh, don't fall. Hi, llama. Whoa, you're in my head. Dang. Nobody knows how to build, that's for sure. He's a good buildier. And look at that. We have our one of our newer members here. What's he doing? What are they doing? Building. Nice. GG's, buddy. Ooh. Oh, might be spoiling. Don't want to spoil. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up the episode for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.